Richard from Soup Country Outdoors back again with another video and in today's video we're going to be restoring this deadhead that we found while we were bombing down the hill when we were hunting my bull and right before I actually shot my bull so today we're going to restore it bring it back to life a little bit we're going to clean up uh, the skull part and then bring the antlers back to life with some potassium permanate. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take it in some hot soapy water and we're going to scrub it down and get all the loose debris off of it and all the dirt and then after we scrub it down I got a little tire brush here for my truck we scrub it down we're going to rinse it off and then we'll go to restoring it Now that we got the skull all rinsed off and scrubbed off, we need to prep it to get the potassium permanent on it. So we just patted it dry and now I'm going to take some blue tape here and I'm just going to tape off around the base of the antlers on the bone for now so we don't get any potassium permanent on the skull itself. Okay, so we're going to take this potassium permanent here. This is a little bottle I got off eBay for like five bucks. It's probably a lifetime supply. This stuff is used for all kinds of things. Um, you can use it as an antiseptic, start fires, taxidermy work. There's all kinds of things if you look it up. But anyhow, if I can find a link to eBay, I'll put it in the description below. Let's take a little tiny bit of it. I got a little half a cup of water here, and this just takes, I mean, a tiny bit. Not even a cap full. Turns really purple. You mix it up. Then you just take it. And you start dabbing it on the antler. This is what they use in taxidermy. To darken antlers. It goes on purple. But it turns it brown. So we're going to put it on all around, get it around the rosette, try not to get it on the skull. Anyhow, we'll work that in a little bit and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so we put a couple coats of the potassium permanate on the antlers here of this bull. Now we've let that kind of dry and soak in and it's brought a lot of the natural color back on the bull. And the last thing that my dad forgot to mention about that potassium permanate that's a really cool feature actually is that you can use it to purify water that's dirty. So if you're out in the mountains or anything and you need water and you get it from the river, you just put a little bit of that potassium permanate in there and it will actually purify your water. The next thing that we're going to be doing is doing some bleach on the skull itself and we're using this Red Ken Color Gels hair bleach on the skull. Um, we're just going to paint it on there and it's just a paste in here and then once that dries we're going to just brush it off and then rinse it all off and then hopefully the bowl will be nice and white. Day two and the skull has actually dried with the bleach on it. So the next step in this process is we're going to go ahead and take the hose and we're going to really spray it down and just get all this hardened bleach off of it. Okay, so we uh, let it dry after hosing it off. 
didn't come out quite as white as we expected, but it was kind of an old deadhead. I'm sure with a fresher one, it'd come out much whiter. Or we could even do it again to get it whiter, but we're good with it. Next thing we're going to do, take a little boiled linseed oil. And we're going to rub it on these antlers because the potassium permanate brought the color back, but they're still dried out. So we'll put a little linseed oil on here. Bring the life back into them. I might have to get a brush. I just had a quick question actually for everyone about spike elk really quick because I've heard a couple different names, thought of a couple different names for spike elk when they're running around the forest and whatnot and I can't decide what I'd rather call them. So would you guys rather call spike elk aliens because they look like aliens walking around the forest or forest devils? What do you guys think? I'm torn, I like both names. They look cool to me like an alien or a forest devil. So yeah, comment below and tell us what you think. And there you have it, the finished product of our skull restoration. You know, it didn't turn out professional quality, but that's okay, we're not pros, we're just amateurs and we wanted to just kind of capture a memory from our elk hunt this last fall. So we brought it back to life just a little bit. But anyway, yeah, I'm happy with it. I think it's gonna look good hanging at the cabin. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already for more content we have. And until the next video, guys, we'll see ya.